SCP-166, just a teenage gear. Object class, Euclid. Special containment procedures. SCP-166 is contained in by a containment zone C at Site-19, which has been modified to include a hermetically sealed antechamber and an industrial strength air purifier. Containment staff must wear the specially designated 166 biohazard suits at all times when inside SCP-166's containment area. Due to SCP-166's unique physiological needs, a variety of loose-fitting organic cotton clothing has been provided to be rotated monthly. All meals are to be cooked according to the guidelines provided, with as little inorganic additives as possible. Reasonable requests for personal items and modifications to the containment suite may be granted upon approval by a level 4 or higher authority. Update. All requests by SCP-166 must be approved personally by Site Director Light. To date, SCP-166 has requested a copy of the Holy Bible, Dawe Reims, Challenge or a Vision, granted. A Catholic Rosary, granted. Access to a Catholic priest for confession mass, and other sacraments. Denied. Chaplain Davis has been scheduled to meet with SCP-166 on alternating Sundays after a thorough decontamination process. Various books and magazines, mostly religious in nature, granted, pending review and approval of contents. A telephone with which to contact the abbess of the Our Lady of Mercy convent in County Galway, Ireland, denied, granted, overruled by order of the site director, denied. Description. SCP-166 is a European female human in its late teens with ungulate features, possessing antlers, hoof feet, and a short tail reminiscent of Rangifa tarandus, common reindeer. Despite these obvious abnormalities, DNA analysis reveals no abnormal genetic traits. Within a 15 meter radius of SCP-166, artificial objects gradually return to an unworked state. Higher complexity objects like electronics or vehicles are affected quicker, with degradation of their metallic components causing catastrophic structural failure in a matter of hours. Rudimentary materials, such as stone buildings or products made of organic materials, decay at a virtually imperceptible rate. Within the same radius plant life will begin to sprout, often growing in improbable places such as out of security cameras or ID scanners. SCP-166 possesses a possibly anomalous sensitivity to artificial material and pollutants, with inhalation or contact causing pressure ulcers and symptoms of acute asthma attacks. In one case, physical proximity to a smoker caused SCP-166 to undergo a severe asthma attack, even though the doctor at the time had not smoked a cigarette for three weeks. Discovery. SCP-166 was discovered at the Our Lady of Mercy convent in County Galway, Ireland, where it had lived since infancy. SCP-166 was confirmed by a defecting Global Occult Coalition agent to be the child of threat entity 9927 Black, the goddess also known as SCP Data Expunged, who was terminated by a GOC strike team in what would be known as the Cornwall Incident. Threat Entity Database Entry. Threat ID, KTE9927 Black Child the Daughter. Authorized Response Level. 4. Severe Threat. Description. Threat Entity is the child of incarnated LTE9927 Black, the goddess and an unknown father. While it strongly resembles its mother and shares its animalistic features, it lacks the extreme bestial appearance of 9927 Black. Possesses minor chlorokinetic abilities, but primary reason for threat entity classification is the instinctive knowledge and eligibility to enact occult procedure clockwork black child Havala, a worldwide ritual working that would irreversibly regress human civilization to Neolithic standards. Strike Team Lancelot neutralized 9927 Black in 1900 data expunged in England during an operation, which would later be known as the infamous Cornwall Incident, but were unable to confirm the liquidation of 9927 Black Child due to the death of the strike leader. Agent Ukulele. Ukulele was posthumously awarded the Silver Aegis for his lifelong service to humanity. Liquidation. Threat Entity is not known to possess any defensive abilities. Terminate with extreme prejudice. 
The agent had refused to terminate SCP-166, instead smuggling it to a Catholic convent in County Galway, Ireland. It lived there until the age of 12, at which point a visitor to the convent accidentally witnessed SCP-166 and reported it to authorities. The agent then contacted the foundation, agreeing to share GOC intelligence in return for the guaranteed safety and containment of SCP-166. Further details are classified. Addendum 166.1, Chaplain Davis by weekly interview. Davis, good morning, child. SCP-166, good morning, father. Davis, as usual, I have to remind you that due to our environment, the seal of confession will not take place unless specifically invoked. Even then, details of our conversation can be unsealed if they are determined to be essential. Understand? SCP-166 nods. Davis, excellent. Now, how are you doing? SCP-166, good. One of the staff told me about Benedict yesterday, is that true? Davis, ah, yes, that was rather unfortunate, but it does make sense. He was rather old, even when he first took up the position. Now he can rest, knowing he served the church well. SCP-166, do you know who's going to replace him? Davis, speculation has abounded, but it could be anyone. These are difficult times after all, with all the recent controversies. They may want a fresh face to represent the church, or they may go with a man who's dedicated years of his life. Who knows, they may even pick a working class man. It certainly would give people something to talk about. SCP-166, I guess so. SCP-166 and Davis sit in silence. Davis, I'm sensing a question arising, child. SCP-166, sorry. Davis, no need to apologize. That is what I'm here for, after all. What is it? SCP-166, it's just, I wanted to ask you something, thought it might be a little personal. I was just wondering, do you have a good relationship with your parents? Davis, my mother, yes. Before she passed away, I visited her once a month at the retirement home, plus her birthday and holidays. Told her I was a chaplain serving in the military, which I suppose, is somewhat close to the truth. SCP-166, and your father? Davis, that is a rather more complicated question. He was a good man, a soldier who held three things dearly, got, country, and family. Unfortunately, he held those convictions rather severely, which resulted in some heated discussions. I love him still, but this way is best for everyone. Davis sighs. Davis, and what about your parents? I know you lived in the convent, but before that, SCP-166, I never really knew them, I got dropped off when I was a baby. I mean, I guess they must have known the sisters if they put me there, but I don't remember them. Just what I picked up. They mentioned my mother a bit before they realized that they should watch what they say about me. I think they said something about her being a goddess, which obviously wouldn't be true. She must have been some sort of spirit, but she must have been something if I ended up looking like this. SCP-166 gestures to herself. SCP-166. I remember Eve's dropping on the abbess. She was talking to one of the other sisters about how she had done something wrong. Something about a ritual that someone else stopped. They said she died. Davis, I'm sorry for your loss. SCP-166. Not like I knew her. Davis, and your father? SCP-166 hesitates. SCP-166, I don't know. He must have been the one who dropped me off at the convent, but why there? Why didn't he take me with him? Davis, I'm sure he had his reasons. SCP-166, maybe, you know, they never talked about him. Not once. I must have asked the abbess a thousand times, but she never even mentioned a hint of him. SCP-166 pauses. SCP-166, if my mother was so horrible what did my father do? End log. Addendum 166.2, disciplinary interview of redacted. Begin log. Light, what the hell were you thinking? Redacted, I wanted to make sure she's alright. You wouldn't let me talk to her. 
I took another route. Light, what you did was so much worse than that. If you just stuck to throwing your weight around to get her amenities, sure, I could overlook that. But you then go about trying to give a class 4 anomaly a phone line to the outside world damn it. The council already dislikes you working at the same site as her. This gets out. You can kiss whatever. Deal you made goodbye. Redacted. Come on. Sophia. She's harmless. The only reason she's in there is because of me. I had to do something. Was the foundation just going to let her grow up thinking that her light before you say another word remember that this will be public to everyone with a class 4 clearance i can redact your name but i can't stop people from putting the pieces together from an ill-timed outburst redacted remains silent redacted 16 years 16 years where she couldn't walk through a city or catch a movie or just go shopping doesn't matter if she's in a convent or a foundation cell, she's being locked up for something she had no choice in. All because of me. It isn't fair. Light, I know. Redacted, and I can't do anything about it. I could send a strike team anywhere in the world. I know secrets that the most powerful people in the world would pay billions for, and yet I can't even so much as talk to her, let her know that she's not alone. Light, you've done the best you could. Much more than anyone cold have expected of you in an impossible situation. Redacted, funny how little that makes of a difference. I. Redacted falls silent. Redacted, you know, I don't care. Just write me up. Let's just get this over with. Light, I'm scheduling you for 6 2 hour sessions with a foundation psychologist. I'll make sure it's glass. He signs off at the end of it. We can expunge this from your record. Redacted, MHM. Light, redacted. Redacted, yeah. Light, redacted, yeah, I know. Thank you, Sophia. End log. On the 5th of August 2013, the following note was discovered within SCP-166's containment area. Data expunged. I first met your mother when we were little more than children. She had hooves 4 feet and starlight in her eyes. She was beauty in nature incarnate, and I killed her with my own two hands. Eden isn't a place. It's a state of being. They wanted to take us back to it, and I stopped them. I took paradise away from us for a second time. I have never regretted my actions on that day, except one, that when you first met me on that day, you saw your father put a bullet into the head of your mother. I make no excuses, only explanation. You may not have even remembered it, but I'm telling you now in the hope you understand why I did what I did. I hope you forgive me. I love you. I wish I could have done more for you. The best I could do was leave you in the hands of kind and loving people and hope they would raise you in my place. From what I've seen, they did well. I'm sorry you couldn't stay with them. I'm sorry they've brought you to this place. I promise to do my best to make sure your stay here is pleasant. I promise to keep you safe. Happy 16th birthday. From your loving father. End of file.